I usually don't do videos on issues based on speculation but I am but a tool designed and empowered by the dead who cannot rest and the call of Egypt is constantly calling my attention so to appease the gods and pharaohs of old I shall interpret their will as the giants crying Uiji bored that I have become since my accident that I never should have survived, that 40 miles per hour car wreck with no seat belt on and all the near-death experiences since then that has made it obvious to me that someone doesn't want me to rest either. So without further ado, and without further but hurt reports, I bring to you a possible scenario that explains the presence of the pyramids and who built them. In multiple cultures around the world there are tales and impressions left on temples that tell of a great battle, a revolt against a once benevolent king that all the nations of the world had united and allied themselves with that became corrupted by the power he possessed as the king of these joined nations. The Hindu texts of the Maharabhata tell of the Battle of the Ten Kings, the Epic of Gilgamesh tell of the Battle of Marduk and Tiamat in Babylonia, the Book of Enoch in Hebrew tells of the rebellion in heaven, the Norse tell of the war between the Ezra and Niflim, the Mayan temples and records have hinted at a possible integration of their people and the African tribes giving a possible premise to the origin of the Anunnaki gods made possible by the seafaring capabilities the Mayans had adapted from migrating Pacific Islanders. One thing these tales share is the carbon dating approximation of each of these tales which centers around 2500 BC or 5000 years ago historical timeline of world events involving any kings of such magnitude leads us to Egypt, more precisely Assyria. In the time frame of 2500 BC we find the reign of the Assyrian king Sargon of Akkad. Now historical texts say that he had united many kingdoms in a 34 battle victory campaign across the Saudi Arabian region spanning from Assyria to Persia, which is the entire stretch of desert of the known world at that time excluding Egypt. Which also shares qualities of the description of Seti Thoth, brother of Osiris. So putting this vast empire, the first empire of the world, into a large contrast. Let us include the other cultures of the world, the Mayan added by the application of seafaring capabilities, the Hindu by the texts of the Mahabharata, the Norse through the Hindu texts that when describing the nations that rose against the tyrant king lists one specific tribe, the Druhaean. In Druidic Celtic lore they list the origin of their knowledge, their god the sun god Druhaea. Now we add these cultures together and their unique cultural traditions and tools and we now would have not one single but a united kingdom with the tools and means in which the pyramids could have been built all together in Egypt to offer a show of legends, a symbol, of their unity to the self-made god on earth Thoth, or Sargon. The people of India could provide the muscle needed to haul such large stones into place during the seasonal period of the Nile rain. The elephants of India could have been transported by the Mayan ships up the Nile, that runs south to north, during its seasonal raining that would flood the Nile provide the elephants with enough water to keep them hydrated and provide a logical explanation as to another reason why the pharaoh's ability to predict the seasonal rains of the Nile was essential to the preservation of Egypt's position through the winds of time. The Norse would provide the craftsmanship and tools necessary to put the pyramids together as well as providing the Norse with the knowledge of shipbuilding and design in which the Vikings were notorious for. However this theory does not explain one of the pyramids, the Sphinx. Carbon dating of that monument puts its construction at about 9500 BC and that it was made from a mountainside that once stood in its place. Records also show that a structure had already existed on the site where it was built and the Sphinx was just built over it. There is no record to show what was there before the Sphinx. However like I said there are those that empower me that say that the site was once a grave of a long forgotten king's daughter whose kingdom had been overthrown and daughter died in the say age. At the time their culture was living in fear of the Archons, which were like the Roth kings in the Lord of the Rings saga. These Archons were the enslaved undead bodies of the world's most powerful mages and, so that she would not fall victim to the same curse that the mages had. The king had her buried in an unmarked tomb on the fringes of his kingdom where the forests ended and opened up into the desert plains the pyramids may seem unfinished. 
Well they very well may be as the texts speak of an uprising against Sargon who became drunk with power. As the tales say his son and his personal elite guard, who incidentally came from the regions of Iraq which would be present day Iran. That gives premise to the explanation of who Allah is and why the religion of Islam is designed the way it is. My theory is that Sargon, the self-made god on earth, Thoth, angry for their role in the rebellion against him and chasing him into the desert where it is rumored he died in a sandstorm near the city of I.M., although no body was ever recovered. He used his emerald tablets to secure his spirit to the mortal world through the halls of Amenti and took on the role of Allah appearing before Muhammad and prophesied his instructions of the Islamic faith. Hence Sargon's role as the deceiver of nations, or Satan, as he deceived Muhammad and the people of Islam into believing he was God and then designed a system of worship that was both torturous and destructive to themselves and those around them. The jihadists and violent extremists of September 11th come from this cultural belief just as a note to think about as well. This may be the source of unrest in the Arabic regions and may as well be the antagonist behind the conflicts that are currently escalating towards the next world war. As I said this is not a completely well researched theory but more of a possible theory to explain the pyramid's origins.